Question 34. The polynomial p of x is given by p of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus k, where k is a constant. A part 1. Given that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x, show that k equals 10. Okay, right, so we got p, this is a part 1. P of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus k. And we, we've been told that x plus 2 is a factor, so we set that to 0 and get the root. Therefore, x equals minus 2. So that's the root. If we put p of minus 2, and that should be equal to 0, right? Therefore, we can work out k minus 2 cube minus 4 into bracket minus 2 squared minus 7 into bracket minus 2 plus k should be equal to 0. That's minus 8 minus 16 plus 14 plus k equal to 0. And that implies that 16 min minus 16 plus 14 is minus 2, minus 2, so you got minus 10 plus k equal to 0 which implies that k equals to 10. So that proves the first part of A. The second part is to express p of x as the product of three linear factors. So now we know that one of the factors is x plus 2. To find the other factors, we need to divide the p of x by x plus 2. So that would be x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now, what we need to do, what can we do to x to get x cubed? x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is plus 2x squared. Draw a line. Take away. x squared minus x squared 0. Minus 4x squared minus 2x squared is minus 6x squared. Bring the minus 7 down, minus 7x down. What can we do to x to get to minus 6x squared? Multiply by minus 6x. Minus 6x times x is minus 6x squared. Minus 6x times 2 is minus 12x, draw a line, take away, minus 6x squared plus 6x squared is 0, minus 7x minus 12x minus minus 12x is plus 5x, because minus 7x minus minus 12x is plus, so that's 5x. Bring the 10 down. What can we do to x to get a 5x? Multiply by 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 2 is plus 10. Take away. 5x minus 5x is 0. 10 minus 10 is 0. So now we got the, the quotient now. So we have 
p of x equals x plus 2 times the quadratic part, which is x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now we need to find the factors for the quadratic terms. In this case, we need to factorize. For the quadratic part, I need two numbers. I can multiply together to get 5. When I add them together, I get minus 6. So I'm thinking minus 1 and minus 5. Minus 5 times minus 1 is plus 5. That's good. Minus 5 plus minus 1 is minus 6. So my new equation will be x squared minus x minus 5x. So I have replaced the minus 6x with minus x minus 5x. plus 5. Now what's common here is x squared between x squared and minus x is x. So if I take x out I get x minus 1. Right so what's common between minus 5x and 5x? So if I take minus 5 out I get x minus 1. So my new factor is x minus 1, which is a common factor. And what's left is x minus 5. So then I get x minus 1 and x minus 5. So my linear three factors are for px equals x plus 2, x minus 1, x minus 5. So those are my three linear factors. The reason why they call them linear is because the power of x is 1. The highest power of x is 1. The exponent are 1. Part 2, uh, B part. Use the remainder theorem to find the remainder when P of x is divided by x minus 3. B part. We know that P of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10. If divided by x plus 3, if divided by x minus 3, and that setting that to 0 implies that x equals 3. All we need to do now is to put p of 3 into the function. That will be 3 cubed minus 4 into bracket 3 squared minus 7 into bracket 3 plus 10. And that will be equal to 27 minus 36 minus 21 plus 10. And that will be equal to minus 20. Therefore, R, the remainder, is minus 20. Part C, we are to sketch we are to sketch the curve of p of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10. We know the roots are x plus 2, 
x minus 1, x minus 5, when y for p of x equals to 0. We also know the intercept on the y-axis. equals 10. That's the constant. So these are the three curves we need to sketch. We also know that the curve is positive because A here is plus 1. So that's positive. The curve will start from the, this is the first quadrant, second, third, and the fourth. The curve will start from the third quadrant because it's positive cubic. Right, so let's try and sketch now. So we draw a line. We've got our the points, the roots, if we set that to zero, the roots would be set it to zero, then you get x plus 2 equal to 0, therefore x equals minus 2, so that's x value. The roots here set it to 0, x minus 1 equal to 0, therefore x equals 1. You set that 2 to 0, x minus 5 equal to 0, therefore x equals 5. So those are the roots. These are the factors, these are the factors here. And these are the roots. So the three roots we're looking for is minus 2, 1, and 5. So if we label that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2. The y value is 0. The intercept on the y value is plus 10. So we have this to be 4. 5, 10, minus 5, minus 10. So we know the points we're looking for. The points are minus 2, 1, and 5. Minus 2 is 1 point when y is 0 minus 1 and 5, 1 and 5. Here is y-axis, which means x equals to 0 there, and this is x-axis, which means y equal to 0. So to draw the curve, it's going to be going through 10. I'm presuming it's going through 10 and going that way and coming from 1 through 5 and going that way. Right, and the coordinates are 5 and 0, 1 and 0, minus 2 and 0, and the intercept coordinate is 0 and 10. And the curve is y equals or p of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared minus 7x plus 10 cubic. Mm -hmm.